Excuse me. Dry, you need to choose your finger. Can I please have the scissors? How, how do you think we've got, we can't fill up three cups in here with that? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to my. Oh, look, we've got a fork in there. Oh. It should be, yeah, that's weird. Normally rip the lid up and then there's, like, oh, isn't it a little plastic packet? <laughs> so they sit all of them in just like that now, so they've yeah, got one less packaging. So there's only 15,000. Yeah, but we don't like using the forks because so when you click them and you're trying to get some, you will unclick like that. No, like, it's meant but it, does, it's but it doesn't look like built, it doesn't so it doesn't do that. Yeah. I don't think they unclick. I don't think the noodles are so strong enough to make it unclick. Mark. You want all the... <laughs> we just got back from Audi. I was not going in for much stuff, but um, this is what happened. So I'm going to show you what I bought quickly so I can get all the cold stuff in the fridge as usual. It doesn't really matter. I just said to the kids it's not hot at all today, so pretty all right having it here. But we got some milk. I said to James, we don't, because he's like, we don't need much, do we? I'm like, nah. But I said to him, everything we got, we needed, so it's all good. Uh, I got six litres of milk all up, got a couple of bags of hash browns, frozen veggies there for Lucy. Lachlan's just over there in the kitchen now, getting a pot going for her. I've got some peas, because it's just that kind of weather. We're going to have mash and veg and yummies. Oh my God, I love winter. I love the change. You get sick of it quick, but... I uh, picked up some corn cr fritters. I <laughs> said corn critters. Corn fritters, so they're a, bit, they're a bit weird. Got two packets of dog food for loose. That will make heaps once you mix it with the pasta and the veggies. A couple of chooks, these are so cheap. Like $14 for two chickens, so that's good value. And I got some um, hokey fillet skin on ones. They look pretty good. I was going to get salmon as well, and I said, James, no, I won't, because I've got that anyway. Lachlan was just saying that James is a hypocrite because he's eating in his room, and Lachlan's not allowed to eat in his room. Lachlan's eating noodles. <laughs> we just bought lots of noodles. But the difference between Dad eating in the room and you eating in the room, Lachlan, is that you don't bring your bowls out, and Dad's got me to bring his out. <laughs> well, okay. You do not. You don't pick up after me. You don't need to. Get out of your own then. Come on, you're doing dog food anyway. You're doing dog food anyway, Lachlan, so you can get back to that kitchen. No! What? I got some different lunch meats this time. Uh, that ham I've been buying from Aldi in the four pack. It's been feeling a little bit slimy, so it's freaking me out a little bit. And I said, James, oh, look at all these ones. I've never actually really noticed these, to be honest. So we got some hot salami, that's Hungarian. Just some shaved ham, some triple smoked ham, some pastrami, and shaved chicken. The last time we went there, James was like, what about pastrami? And I'm just like, I don't know, I'm not really sure what it is, to be honest. So it's just beef, but it looks kind of silver sidey. I don't know, weird. I love roast beef though. Nice high protein snack. Couple of light shredded cheese. James was like, what's the difference between this one and the green packet that was next to it? And they were pretty similar. This one was a bit higher in protein by about, uh, probably up close to 10 grams higher in protein, which was good. But they weren't there. There weren't really a lot of differences. So that's quite interesting. And I said to him, and the normal cheese in the green pack would actually melt probably a bit better than this one too. Scarlett just asked me about this watermelon. She said, did you forget to take it back? I'm like, no. Nah. I bought this watermelon for the canteen. I'm going to cut it open. It's just so gross. See, it's all like bruised and all. Ugh. But, um, yeah, it's starting to stink too. I got two of these packs of Pink Lady Apples. They were five bucks, I think, for a kilo. They had them separately for 3 50 for a kilo, but they were really, really big, so I didn't really want to get those at all. Um, back to the watermelon. I forgot about that. 
Um, I took this back and they gave me my money back and I said to him, well, can you take it out of here because I want my container back. And he's like... I said to him, I could take it from my worm farm. And he's like, yeah, well, I haven't really got room in my bins to take it. So that's cool. So that's going to go in my worm farm. Uh, anyway, back to this. I got some green apples. Hutter was actually asking for green apples. And I've even been enjoying the Granny Smiths again. So that's been cool. And mandarins are in season. Jai, look. Can you get oranges? Oh, we'll have to go up to the orchards and get them. But, I feel like oranges. Yeah, but look, Jai. Big bag of mandarins, and they're really nice. And these are only like about three bucks a kilo. I've got some avocados. Um, yep, yeah, I'm um, a converted avocado. I used to be a shepherd enemy, and now I love them. They're beautiful. I've got a bag of carrots, they're only like 80 cents. Roma tomatoes, I love these for making bruschetta with. Got some more capsicums for the hummus. You guys, we've got hummus in the fridge. Yeah, I'll, I'll ate them jack biscuits with it. Yeah, beautiful. I'm really enjoying the hummus just by itself. It's quite weird. It's, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. I didn't really like it before. I got some skim milk and look at this big jar of cucumber scarlet. <sighs> this is 1.95 oh kilo jar. I saw those the other day and I said, James, oh, I said, did you see the pickles? But I don't know what they taste like. I don't know if they're sweet or there's so many different flavours. But they were like, yeah, four bucks. And when I went back today, there was only, I want to say about five jars left, so. And they've got wrapping paper in there at the moment. Look at this one, isn't that just gorgeous? It's got the pineapples all over it. I thought that was a bit cute. And they've got some butterfly ones. Jones is like, when do you buy that for? Because people always have birthdays. Three metres for $1.50. Yeah, I'm extra, extra happy with that. And we got some cream cheese, because I said, James, all those meats we got for sandwiches. I think meat, sandwich meat and some cheese spread. Leaves or lettuce and stuff like that. And salad is just so beautiful. We love sandwiches. And what else did we get? Oh, over the back here, we have four packets of sweet and salty. We have four packets of sweet and salty because they are so delicious. And James loves them too. Um, spiral noodles there for the dogs. This macaroni here, James went back and got those. They're going to be to make some naughty macaroni cheese with this stuff here. I don't reckon the kids will like it. I love macaroni cheese. Do you? Yeah. yeah. You know the one in the blue box of craft one we used to get? Yeah. We'd, that's what this will taste like if we mix this with these. Mm. With these noodles. Look, so fattening though. So bad. My husband got to 100 oh, kilos. Oh, Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet. Um, Scarlet. James got to, yeah, 100 kilos when he lived at home because he just used to eat that much pasta and stuff. Um, I got some Italian diced tomatoes and I was telling you the other day, the other day about the uh, whole ones. But, yeah, they were a bit of a pain in the bum to, like, squash up and cut. And I didn't really get time for that, so I didn't. And I got these... I saw these the other day in Aldi and I haven't stopped thinking about them since. So if I'm like that, I tend to go back and buy it. So they're, this one is alcohol-free coconut extract flavoring and this one is chocolate. They had, um, yeah, this was the last coconut one because I love coconut. So I'm glad I got that. I don't know what I'm gonna put it in yet, but I'll find something make a dessert or some healthy thing that will be delicious and chocolate extracts I mean that doesn't need a, any more said really I got some jam they're pretty cheap $1.39 got some honey we're having a lot of oats this time of year I got some raisin toast the kids as you know previous previous vlogs kids love those another two loaves of my bread I got some drinking chocolate for my cappuccinos that I got from Spud Chad, because, yeah, those little things. I hate how they give you the big box of coffees and then they don't give you two chocolate shakers. 
And we got some noodles, meagerang noodles. I think we had we had five of each, so I don't know. The kids are all having a big feed right now, and it's like 20 to 4. Okay, we've got oriental ones. They're one of the favourite flavours in the household. And we've got some beef ones as well. Is there six beef? What? <coughs> six beef, five, one, two, three, four. Mm, that's weird. I always bugger up the flavours when I get the noodles. Oops. Um, I got these, I told James. Oh, look at those, they're only 99 cents. And we got two of the braised beef ones, but he just had that and records it was nothing special. Records it just tastes like that one, so. And I got some eggs. I've only got a few left of those, and I also bought a mother, Mother's Day card for James's mummy. And that's about it for my food part of what we got. We went to Bunnings before and we got two bags of the rose and gardenia mix. There's only 10 litres in it. They're pretty small little bags, but it is a real good brand. And these are going to be for my blueberry plant. I just bought a different species today. And I bought this little mat that's going to be going in the top of my worm farm. I've got a mat in there that's like a proper worm farm. It's getting really old and ready, so I thought I'd get that. That was like... I want to say about two, 270 or something like that. And we saw this at Bunnings. I spotted it and I said to James, oh, look, sometimes our lemon tree gets like, the leaves go like that. It's a bit weird. So we got this, and it's just a fungicide, so we'll put some of that on a lemon tree. And I said, James, we've just put in a lime tree out the front too, so we'll get use out of that. Same as he bought a special fertilizer the other day that's just for citrus trees. <coughs> But he only did the one at the front. I said, why don't you do the lemon tree? So I did that this morning. I uh, got some snail pellets. Um, I haven't really seen any snails around. But with the winter, yeah, they come in from everywhere as soon as it rains. And I got my sprouter thing out again. It's out on the table at the back. So I bought a pack of Sprouts Live. Scott and I grew these last time beautiful so adzuki beans mung beans lentils and fenugreek and yeah these were so delicious and i also got these mung beans as well so i don't know if these ones are any different to these I'm not really sure and i've got some radishes there's some of those grown in the school garden and they're so cool so i want to get some of those and put them in my garden and I got a little punnet of coriander and I said, James, I'm just going to smash this all in one spot in the garden. The slaters are running absolute rampant in the garden now at the moment. Um, I'll show you what we've been doing for that. But I've actually just bought some of this because I'm like bringing in the, the big guns with this. <laughs> We're like, oh my God, I've never seen so many slaters ever in my garden. And look at the colour of this kale isn't that just beautiful i've got to admit i'm not normally a fan of that either but i made a salad the other day and i've just like chopped it all up massaged it like i said put some lime juice on it and it was beautiful in my salad and i liked it because it took me a while to like crunch through it so it seems like yeah having a bigger lunch almost sort of because of it. i don't know it was weird it was just so crunchy and yeah it was good but this is red Russian, so I can't wait to plant all those. And this is my other blueberry that I got. So I'm gonna go pop that up. It's actually a pretty good time of day to go out, so I might go out there now. And I'll show you what we've been doing for the slaters so far. Okay, I'm just in the kitchen cooking tea. I've got some veggies going in the pan there. I've got some capsicum, some onion, and carrot <laughs> and I just chopped up the chicken and I just found this little gross bit of chicken in here check out that it's like a little oh it's like a tube and you can see inside it it's so gross so I'm going to call Joy out I'm going to ask him how, how hungry he is <laughs> and how much would he eat this for I love asking people random stuff like that Let's do it. Come here!
Come here for a minute. Typical teenager, he's like, why? Are you hungry? Not really. Come here. I got this out the chicken. <laughs> huh? Nice. Look at it. Come around this side. You can see right into the tube bit. Look. I don't care. How much would you eat that for? Ten dollars. Would you really? <laughs> would you really? No. <laughs> How much would you eat it for? It's so disgusting. Look. Twenty. Oh, look. You can see inside it. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> now it's got dirt. How much now? Thirty. <laughs> okay, let's let's see how much the next person will eat it for. Okay, you know how I always talk about like how much would you lick things for for how much money? Mm. How much would you lick this for? I was just prepping the chicken for the dinner, and I found this in the chicken. Come over here. What is it? Come over here. I'm not really sure, but it's like a little tubey. Tell me. Look, it's like a little tubey looking Tell thing. Tell me what it is. It looks like, to me, it looks like it could be the Chook's windpipe. And we dropped it on the floor, so that would be an extra little bit of added crunch if there's any sand on the kitchen floor. It's disgusting. Well, there could be here. It actually looks like a boot from here, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you Joy, Joy gave me an amount how much he'd eat it for and then when it dropped on the floor he quickly upped it to another 10 bucks <laughs> <to the stand. laughs> How much would you eat that for? Would you actually give me eat it? Yeah. <laughs> no, 100,000. No, like I wouldn't. That's disgusting. Why? It's like, why? But like, why? Will I actually give you money if you ate it? Yeah. Would you really eat it? Like how much? Like real price. <laughs> <laughs> Helps if we take the lid off the olive oil <laughs> before you try to tip the olive oil on top of the chicken. I'm making the yummiest dinner tonight. I'm doing teriyaki chicken. I actually didn't have anything planned for dinner. The kids had noodles a little bit earlier. Some want pizza, but then got Wi-Fi turned back on so they've disappeared again. They don't seem to be hungry anymore. Huh? And it is only 6.40. Yeah, babe. So. So. Yes, I would, if, if the price was right, I would let you maybe eat it. Maybe eat it. Ugh. But, okay, but I need to know specifically but Jai, what I it can't is. tell you how much Jai put in his bid for. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm guessing it's um, I'm guessing it's a wind pot. Okay, can I put like some salt on it? Oh. Can we cook it first? <laughs> can we cook it first? Are you hoping it's going to turn into like a piece of like pork cracker or something? <laughs> can I eat like something with it? No, definitely no. It's disgusting. Can we cook it though? This is going to be like the jungle show. What's it called? Um, with Dr. I'm Chris. a celebrity to get me out of here. Yes, I'm a celebrity to get me out of here. We're going to cook it. Just rinsed out all my beans and my sprout, my sprout, sprouts and my sprouts. Um, yeah, just give them a little, like a little light rinse and then put the lid back on, which got broken from Hudson, I reckon. I think it was him. I got it out the shirt, so it's a big crack in it. That's okay, it'll still work. <coughs> Look at that, isn't that cool? Got to keep it in a warm place. But some of the big ones are already sprouting just from last night. Being in that, so that's so cool. Remember when I was a kid, my pa used to grow alfalfa sprouts and we used to love it. And strawberries in his garden. We'd go out and pick them and eat them. So good. Good girl, aren't you loose, hey? Let's go. So good to walk. Hey, hey, loose. Good girl. Just 
just ignore me, just keep walking I guess. That's another pole to spill. Come on, that's it. Come back right beside me again. Such a good girl. Hey Luz, aren't you? Such a good girl. This is it. Oh, this one. Tail between you. What is that? What is that? What is that? What are you doing, Luis? What you doing? No, you're not going inside. You need to have a bath. Close the door. Out. Out. Good girl. This dog has trashed the patio so much. Loves chewing on sticks and stuff. Oh, you got one of my gloves in your bed too. You bitch. So naughty. Luis is not chewed up. She used to take shoes into there and she would sit them perfectly next to each other like a pair. Well, she'd do that to James's anyway, she'd chew mine up. Little bitch. What have you been doing today, Luce? Have you been a good girl? When I came out a minute ago, she didn't look like she'd been a good girl. She's Just discovered nice. what the dog has done while she looked guilty. What is that? What's that? Lucy, what's that? Lucy, look at me. What did you do there? What did you do there? Are you naughty? Are you naughty? Oh, don't hide near me. You are naughty. My little child's just starting to grow in there. She has to Yep, look. Oh, that is so naughty. That is very naughty, girl. So I just picked up the lemon out of the garden. As I say, look at this one here. It's like it's so big and it's round and it's beautiful. Just such a perfect shape. It's got a massive one here. This is the Eureka lemon tree. So you were saying something about, um, Max's death and compared to a plant or something? Yeah, the tribes that have just moved out of a pot, I put the... I was going to chuck them out, I thought, no, I'll put it back in the garden. But I put all the seeds in that pot that the dog dug into. Yeah, and I was saying, Jones, we've had those tribes as long as we had Max. So, look at my gerbers, aren't they beautiful? And I've got to show you the flowers on the... What are they called? Um, nasturtiums. Look at that, isn't that just so pretty? You probably hate my gardening vlogs. I sound like my mama. And but over here, I even look at the colour of this one. It's so beautiful. Oh, there's two out. Are they the um, edible ones? Yeah. Nasturtiums. Aren't yeah. they beautiful? Yeah. 
so you can eat the leaves and the flowers guys imagine making a salad with people coming over and having something like that in on your salad platter how pretty would it look look i can prove it i'll eat Parsley's it are going good i'll move my coriander yeah. sliders we're getting that there's a broken tomato plant no and look at the capsicum on there no pretty good eh look, pretty... And there's some monish notions down there yeah they're like orange orange ones so nice. I'm starting to love the look of it now. It's like filling it all up. They're going to spread everywhere. Yeah, and there are my cauliflowers. And we've got some Asian veggies along the front there. We've been using them as um, some cooking, so that's been good. Okay, you've probably gathered by all the um, different random bits. I'm just vlogging all over the place and I'm just going to sort of put it together and make a vlog out of it. We just got back from Woolworths, I said James, I just feel like shopping at Woolworths today for no apparent reasons. We went there and um, yeah, just about to unpack it, but I said to James, quick, I'm going to just show you what I got. I'm just going to rip it out the bag and show you. I need to hurry because we have to get the chips in the oven. It's only like quarter to six, but it's weird, it's getting darker. So. They had cereal on special, these big boxes were only five bucks each. Pretty good, especially this one. This is like 730 gram box, so it's pretty good. And that one's only 535. The kids love cereal. Um, yeah, it's gonna be easy or whatever. I can buy some with when I go shopping at the canteen money and bring mine home, but yeah, I don't mind. All good, and it's good to, um, I like having a few boiled eggs on hand. Got lots of uh, earn and learn stickers, so that's pretty cool. Got some butter. Just love, love, love real butter. So good. And I got these. They had the, um, what are they called? Oh, Yalsberg cheese. The light ones on the special, they were five bucks. But it was only like 180 grams or something. And I said, James, well, how much are those ones there? And these were only $6.20 or something like that. And we're coming here, we get, what, two packs. So that's cool. The kids can eat those as well. And um, gravy. And this cappuccinos. Cappuccinos were on special, half price. So I got two boxes of the skim ones. We got some chips, garlic herb, and a twist of lemon. They sell nice. And sea salt and rosemary. We've had these ones before. They're really good. Uh, they've got to go in the oven. Got some milk. James grabbed some schmackos for Max. <laughs> for Max. Aww. See, James, mm. even I do it. Lucy. That's sad. Kids talk about him all the time still. Such a good little dog. Um, what have we got? Tins of tuna. These were four for six bucks, which was pretty good. I actually bought some of these. I've been saying to you how much I'm loving this at the moment. Uh, I actually paid the $2 for it, and I also, James, I do not buy anything unless it's on special, but I got some, um, let me think, Coles, maybe Coles brand, same flavour, and it just it was just no comparison. And we just got a couple of just uh, plain ones in brine. The boys, well, not locking, but Jai likes eating those. Oh yeah, and we've got a few of the sun-dried tomato and onion. We haven't bought that one for a long time. We pretty much killed it. I reckon we used to buy it that much. Didn't we, James? Yep. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, what else we got? Bag of... Oh, heavy bag. Dog's trying to get in. Oh, I've got some different shampoo and conditioner because the one I've got at the moment is really not very nice on my hair. Oh, I don't know what that one is. But yeah, palm olive, voluminous oils, Moroccan argan oil, and camellia. That looks pretty nice. Nice bottle. And a couple of skim milk, long life ones. I love this milk. And deodorant for James, Jai and Lachlan. They were half price, about three thirty-five. dollars off my head. And so was my one, which is great because Lachlan is the only can in the house. I've got one in my 
paperwork bag for work. But if I haven't got that here, which yeah, I haven't, I had to borrow some of Lockham's this morning. Uh, Zantac, these are really good. We both get a lot of heartburn, so let's jump in our stuff. It will pay a bit more. So they were 10 bucks for 14 tablets. There's the shampoo. And I got some apple sauce. And I got one spare deodorant. I bought some olive oil. I got a little jar of black olive sliced ones. I love olives in my salad and stuff. And they had the up and goes on special. So I actually bought a couple of those. I got six pack of chocolate and a six pack of strawberry and they were half price 4 50 so that's a bargain. I'm going to be getting some of those for the canteen as well. Got a peanut butter, they were half price as well. They had a lot of half price stuff actually this week. It's pretty good. I got some butter and I also was saying to James that they had some applesauce that was a brand that Audi sells, so that was interesting. Um I uh, got a roast pork, these were on special, so I got it a little bit cheaper, so it's not bad, $16.50 for that. So I'm going to be doing a pulled pork gravy and applesauce roll for lunch, I would say, probably. My husband, <laughs> lunch on Sunday, probably for the rolls. Maybe invite your mama. Yeah. That's That'd good. be good. Yeah, so we'll do that. Oh, and Jazz was happy because I grabbed some of these Chev Ups. He loves these. They were five bucks over dollar each, and then he saw the chili ones. So, do you want to cook some of them tonight with us with the dinner? Yep. Yeah, the chili ones. Yeah, cool. And we got the big pack of smoked salmon. I've been yeah getting back into the salmon again, so. Um, we're gonna have that on the bread with the avocado. And I've got another rump steak. We spent like 20, 40 bucks just on steak, really. And that one's all just dog food, eh, babe? Just dog food. Yeah. Dog cans. I mean, did, um, did we get? Hey. Yeah, cool. So they had the optimum on the special, they were three bucks. Gonna have some of those this week, just something different. Change it up a little bit for her. Um, yeah, and that's about all of it. I think that bit's empty. Oh, hang on, there's one more here. Just a toilet roll, nine rolls, and they were only three dollars. How much? Three bucks, babe? Three dollars or four? Toilet rolls, three dollars thirty or something, no? So of cheap. Course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well that was like 200 and, was it 260? Mm. Yeah, 260 bucks. So I was a bit like, oh my god. But haven't shopped there for ages, so it's actually nice to have a few more familiar brands and that through the house here and there. And yeah, it's all good. Alright, I'm going to go cook dinner. I hope you enjoyed my little food vlog.